Okay, now I want to explain the some properties by one by one. If you select the pattern here in its settings, I want to explain its its settings uh, here. First, I want to explain something called elastic. It's very simple. If you activate a simulation and turn on the elastic. Oh, sorry. I have to turn it off. It's compress or expand the uh, fabric or the <clears throat> uh, segment that you selected. For selecting, I want to select just, as you can see, we have a lot of, um, when you select it, it's selected all of the uh, line here. And if you select expand, for example, here, as you can see, it's compress it. You can ex uh, elastic move. And here you can change the ratio to uh, expand it like this, as you can see, or compress it like this or more. see or also you can uh you can see this effect in better uh, in the line if you select the line here all the line from back and front of it select the simple line holding shift and also when you select the line or you can click and drag to select all of the lines here if you select all of the lines, you can, oh, sorry, don't select other lines, exactly this line here. If you select the lines, also uh, we have an elastic mode in a selected line. If you turn it on and then turn on simulation, as you can see, you can simulate elastic uh, line in cloth like this. If you want to better quality you have to uh, change the as you can see you can select both of them and change the particle distance from 20 to the 10 for more quality of the meshes here as you can see for more quality of the mesh and uh, select the line <clears throat> again and its properties in elastic when you turn on we have don't change the strings if you want more strings for elastic you can change it but you can uh, change the ridge if you give a more bigger number it expand it as you can see it's expand like this it expand that line but if you select the line if you select the line again and if you give a smaller number you can compress it and this is an uh, elastic mode as you can see so you can simulate elastic effects for your colossus like this so you can give elastic to the directly to the line or to pattern for example you can draw a pattern here we have a lots of internal line in this you have to select a simple pattern here and you can give it elastic to that pattern only you can go to preferences simulation sitting and turn off the gravity to see it better simulation select it and you can find elastic here as you can see you can see the elastic better here or you can go to the its properties and expand it like this or compress it interesting this is an elastic in a 
single pattern or to the line. So if you want to better result for puckering effect, first you select your pattern from here and uh, find the, where is it? Find the particle distance and give a smaller number. As you can see, we have a better effect for elastic. And of course, go to better accurate fabric fitting uh, simulation engine or you can uh, select the line the internal segment and give elastic to that for example you want to create an internal line exactly for, for example here and double click to finish it and you can give just elastic to this line select it and here find the elastic turn it on and done as you can see you can give it elastic just to the this line the internal line hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release